This is Yacht Life Chronicles coming to you live and direct with some more words of wisdom today. You know, I see a lot of people who afraid to be in communion with their own thoughts. They need distraction. They need pleasure. They need a bunch of friends. They need a bunch of excitement around them um, to validate who they are. Instead of being alone, being in solitude, being by themselves as to where they can communicate with their own thoughts. They can hear what they're saying. They can hear the hunches. They can hear the ideas. When you're around people in distraction and a bunch of pleasure day after day, you can't hear those, you, 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 you can't hear that, that those ideas. You can't hear those hunches. You, you can't hear that infinite intelligence that's dripping down into your brain because if you're always busy with distraction and pleasure and you got a bunch of friends around you, you can't hear yourself think. You can't hear what your body is saying to you. You can't hear what's going on inside your own mind because it's being drowned out. Of, it's being drowned out of everything that you're around from all the distractions that you're doing. You can't, you can't take, um, you can't distract yourself from your own thoughts, your own ideas, and your own um, goals and, and hunches that's coming to you. You have to get in solitude and you have to get in communion with your own thoughts so that you can hear yourself think, so that you can know what it is that you need to do, so that you can put your life back together. You know what I'm saying? I know it's hard out here. I know it's, 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 it's hard. You know, um, but what you need to do is you need to build your endurance up, you know, to be able to accept a lot of the adversity that you're going through in life. Um, this road not going to be easy. It's not going to be simple. It's going to be hard. And the more you get down the road, the harder it's going to be. No matter how friendless, no matter how long you are, keep going. No matter how jobless, how broke you are, fight and keep going, you know what I'm saying, to be able to elevate yourself and put yourself in another position. Um, you might not have a car. You might be busting it. You might be walking. You know, don't give up. Um, you might have people that have been deceased in your family. You know, don't allow that to deter you to get in a depressed state, to get in a state of mind as to where you give up on life. Keep going, you know, keep building up your endurance. Um, read books, um, do things as to where it stretches your endurance. You know what I'm saying? If you did something for 10 minutes, next time do it for 20 minutes. You know, so you can build up that endurance so you can be able to stretch yourself to that next level. It's all about peace at the end of the day. And if you can't find no peace within yourself, where would you find it? You know, you got to be able to find that peace and that comfort within solitude. You got to find a peace and a comfort being in communication with your own thoughts. It's hard to find peace and comfort when you're around distraction and pleasure and noise and a lot of people all day. You know, what that does is it drowns out your thoughts, it drowns out your ideas, it drowns out any future thing that you want to do, it, 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 it drowns it out, you know. That's why it's important for you to take time out to yourself. Take time out to yourself to develop that peace. Take time out to yourself to listen to yourself. Take time out to yourself to hear what it is that you want. You know, because you have a lot of people that want things for you. You have a lot of people that will point you in this direction and point you in that direction. But what direction do you want to go in with your life? You know, that's the decision that you have to make on your own. Nobody else can make that for you. You can't be indolent. You can't be laziness in this world. Laziness and indolence is the antithesis to any type of success, to anything that you're trying to do. You know, uh, you got to take your body and you got to have more control over your body. You got to have endurance. You know, you got to have the endurance to complete the things and endurance to do the things that you're most uncomfortable with. 
you know, you have to train your mind in a different direction to be comfortable with the uncomfortable. It's easy to do things that you like to do, but <clears throat> what's not easy is doing the things that you don't like to do. And those are the things that's going to get you to your success in life is the more you do the things that you don't like to do. You know, um, this is not going to be an easy journey. It's not going to be a simple journey. It's going to be a hard and it's going to be an intricate journey. You know, so everything is not going to favor you. Everything is not going to, everybody is not going to support you. But long as you find that center within yourself to stand on, you all the support that you need. You know, once you find that center of gravity for you to stand on, something solid, you know, something that can't be taken away from you, something that's very important to you, something that mean the most to you. You know, you have to find that center of gravity for you to stand on, stand on you know, so that you can build yourself up, that, you know, you can take the adversity that you've been through and you can turn it into a friend and you can use it as fuel to get to the next level. You know, like I said, this journey is not going to be hard, but you have to spend a lot of time to yourself. You have to get into that, that, that mode of peace. You have to get into solitude. Um, you have to build yourself up, you know, no matter how friendless and, how alone you may be, build yourself up for better friends. That job you just lost, build yourself up for a better job. You know, it's all about elevating. You know, your life don't stop just because you lost something in that instance. No, build yourself up for the next better thing. You know what I'm saying? Build yourself up for better things in life. Just don't sit there and take it. Just don't sit there and accept what life has given you. You know what I'm saying? Build yourself up to become someone better. You know? And I just wanted to come in and I just wanted to give you guys some words of encouragement today. You know, I want to I want you to be the best you can be without joining the army. You know, so listen, take the time out and be able to be in communication with your own thoughts so you can listen and you can hear yourself. You know, um, you can't be around distraction. You can't be around pleasure. You can't be around company all day thinking you're going to figure your role out to life, thinking that you're going to figure your game plan out to life. You know, sometimes you have to separate yourself from the people, the distractions and these different things in order for you to listen to yourself, listen to them ideas and hunches that's going on within you that's been speaking to you for years that you've been neglecting. It's time out for you neglecting you. Pay attention to you. Build yourself up. Build your endurance up. You know, be in communication, be in relationship with your own thoughts. You know, we listen to people a lot of time. But today, it's about us. And it's about us listening to ourselves and figuring out what it is that we want to do.